A uh, keystone species is a species that plays a unique role in the way ecosystem functions. The activity of keystone species determine community structure. Now, who introduced the concept or the term of keystone species? Well, it was discovered by an American ecologist, Robert E. Payne, in the year 1969. Let's take a look at its influence on food web. Usually, keystone species have huge influence on food web. So, despite not being abundant, it can play a very important role in an ecosystem. So, what are the habitat needs? Usually, keystone species may not require large habitats, so they remain confined to the ecosystem where they stay. What's the geographical range of these keystone species? Well, keystone species usually are non-migratory and influence a particular environment or habitat. So, what are the examples of keystone species? They include beavers, sea otters, African elephants, fig trees, etc. So, what are the major characteristic features of keystone species? Well, a species having impact on many other, often far beyond what might have been expected from a consideration of their biomass or abundance. So, they are usually top predators or engineer species. So, the ecosystem is inversely proportional to the number of keystone species. So, despite being disproportional to its abundance, they play a major role in an ecosystem. They are minimum in number but maximum in effect. The keystone species can be compared to the crown stone of an arch. Let's take a look at this arch. And this crown stone, I mean this crown stone is holding the arch together. If you somehow break this uh, crown stone, the entire arch is going to collapse. So, a keystone species is acting as the crown stone of this arch. So, it's a species that plays a critical role in maintaining the structure of an ecological community and whose impact on the community is usually greater than would be expected. For example, the extension of wolves in the Yellowstone National Park led to the disappearance of beavers in Yellowstone National Park. Robert T. Payne coined the concept of keystone species. He studied different ecosystems in the intertidal zone and found few species of starfishes to be keystone species. In one of his studies, he found that a particular species of starfish eats the common muzzle and protects the entire ecosystem from a potential disaster. So, what actually happens in absence of these starfishes? Well, in absence of this particular species of starfish, muzzles eventually take over the rock face and eliminate most other invertebrates and algae. Now, let us take a close look at this graph. This is the number of species in presence of the starfish. Well, this is the number of species in that ecosystem in absence of the starfishes. So, uh, we can clearly see that the number of species in that ecosystem is way too more in presence of the starfish. But the number of species is very less in absence of starfish. So, this species of starfish is eating the mussels and protecting the ecosystem. So, we can see that this species of starfish is an efficient predator of the common mussel. Mytilus californicus and it is reducing the abundance of uh, Mytilus californicus. So, the starfish is protecting the macro invertebrates that the mussels don't allow to flourish in that particular ecosystem. In absence of starfishes, mussels cover the rock faces, so the habitat of most of the macro invertebrates is lost. So, over here, this species of starfish is shaping the intertidal community. Now, let's take a look at another keystone species. Another example of keystone species is the sea otters. Well, uh, the sea otters uh, usually eat sea urchins. And uh, we know the sea urchins usually eat the kelp forest. And these kelp forests act as the habitat for most of the marine uh, fishes and some uh, macro invertebrates. So the kelp forest underwater uh, usually supports lots of other species of animals. In absence of sea otters, the sea urchin destroy the kelp forest, thereby the overall biodiversity of the ecosystem is lost. So that's how sea otters act as a keystone species. Let's take a look at another keystone species. Elephant is a perfect example of keystone species. How? Well, the elephants destroy all the herbs that are to be grown in, into tree in the future. So, by destroying these herbs, they alter the landscape. Thereby, we can call elephants as keystone species. They alter the landscape. 
So they have disproportionate influence on the ecosystem. They create gas grasslands for grazing. They also allow germination of one third of trees in Central Africa. Thanks for visiting Biogalaxy Online. Hope you like the video. Hope to see you again.